My name is Michael Carr. I'm the owner and president and in-house producer at Karma. We're a boutique finishing facility that specializes in entertainment advertising. So what we do is we work on trailers, TV spots, creative content. We started with two agencies that we were doing their basically in-house post-production for. We've grown to six. And then we also do business with Fox Sports, with Tyler Perry Studios. We finish content for pretty much all the major studios and networks at this point. I've always been the type that can kind of do a little bit of everything. A trailer would come in, I would mix, <laughs> color grade, and do all the deliverables on the trailer myself. But obviously, things can only move so quickly because I'm one person. Experts in their field are just that, experts. What I've managed to do is bring in two guys that are just top of their field. My name is Eric Reed, and I am the head of operations and lead colorist here at Karma. So as soon as I scaled to just, oh my gosh, I need help, uh, it was a no brainer to bring Eric in. He's our colorist, uh, also does conform. And then biggest thing of all, he's our head of operations. Once Jared came aboard, you know, I felt like, oh my gosh, I thought I knew audio. <laughs> I thought I did. And then here's this rock star that can just blow me out of the water. My name is Jared Bresnan. I'm a re-recording mixer and sound designer here. It's usually a very quick turnaround, so I have to get through these preps fairly fast. We have radio, television, online. We're largely doing a lot of short form uh, content on the trailer side or on the marketing side over the course of a week or even inside of a day. It's great to have a really cool trailer come in, the opening tease for something like Thursday Night Football that you know is gonna get watched by millions of viewers. What we're trying to do is get to a legal limit for wherever the content is playing. Getting it all into a good place and then finding a overall level to play for what the client needs. At Karma, we're a boutique finishing facility, which means right now there's only three of us. And even though we're growing right now, all of us have to wear multiple hats. The first set of challenges we had to figure out when I started here with Mike was to how do we work on the same thing together at the same time and stay organized. So adding shared storage that allowed us to have multiple rooms running simultaneously. I felt like there was a disconnect between creative and finishing. The producers and editors of these trailers and TV spots can feel like the blood, sweat, and tears that they've they've put into that creative intent, like we want to honor that and preserve it and make it better. Our first major step in that was getting a jellyfish from OWC. And that allowed us to install a resolve database on there to have a folder structure and multiple volumes and know that we could be working on high-end projects at the same time simultaneously and not worry about bandwidth feeding our rooms. In terms of talking about linear versus parallel post-production, right? Linear post-production, you think, okay, we, you know, we lock uh, a trailer, then it goes to conform, then it goes to color, then it goes to audio. Where we're actually taking it to, if you will, the next level here at Karma is that we're actually doing conform or even editing, creative editing sometimes, and color grading in parallel at the same time on the same timeline using DaVinci Resolve over the jellyfish. It really helps us be able to do multiple things at the same time rather than having to wait for one stage of the finishing process to complete before it can move on. The fact that I can run in here and Jared can pull it up real fast and we're working that fast and then Eric can pull those mixes. Okay, they're over here. Okay, great. Pull the mixes in like we're flying. That's what we're really trying to achieve is a real great collaboration between creative and post finishing. We obviously all had to have a collaborative environment to work in. The jellyfish obviously is that solution. It's been amazing. And what's really great about it is that we run everything off of it. It's a bit daunting if you're not an IT person, what you think it might take to set up a Postgres database on a separate system, get that up and running with multiple workstations. Whereas with the jellyfish, a couple clicks and you punch in the address of the jellyfish and it's just there. It's been a time saver and has made every color project just a lot easier and allowed us to spend more time on the creative side of it rather than on moving projects back and forth. I think what we looked for in researching technology partners at Karma when we were first building out our office was honestly great collaboration. People that are just gonna really listen and be like, what are you guys trying to do? You know, uh, and here's a great solution for it. Period. It's nice to have, you know, a technology partner like OWC who completely understands what we're trying to do and doesn't try to push something on us we don't need and just provides the perfect solution right out the gate.